The Kirkpatrick Policy Group says the Oklahoma pork industry exports about 2 billion pounds of pork annually. Quite a lot. Now a new Senate bill is hoping to provide incentives to factory farmers to give pregnant pigs a little more room and an effort to improve their quality of life. It's very interesting. News 4's Caitlin Ogle has more. A comfortable pig is a better tasting pig. Senator George Young authored the measure for Oklahoma factory pig farms. I like to call them slaughterhouses. He says many female pigs live in seven by two feet crates during their 114 day pregnancy. The Democratic senator from Oklahoma City recently approached by the Kirkpatrick Policy Group, which has an interest in animal rights. Brendan Hoover speaking to us while out of town about the gestation crates. She can't stand up turn around, extend her limbs. She has litter after litter of piglets uh, during her short life, and then she's slaughtered at the end of that. The group, hoping Oklahoma pig farmers will want to follow rules similar to California's Proposition 12, giving sows more room. The group and senator writing the bill to create a $4 million fund with the Department of Commerce to provide grants to farmers wanting to make changes. I think it actually calls for 37 and a half feet, which is a number that is larger than Prop 12 compliant. That would give the animals even more space to turn it around. They say they're not trying to force change. They believe the pork producer could actually profit off of this by putting something on a label, much like chicken producers do by that cage-free label you might have seen. It's a selling point. People like to buy it because they believe that the animal has been treated fairly. And here's some money to get it done. News 4 reaching out to Oklahoma industrial farmers who then directed us to the Oklahoma Port Council. We reached out to them on Monday. Days later, the council sent us a statement not commenting on the legislation, but saying in part, quote, Working closely with veterinarians, our producers are committed to safely and sustainably delivering high-quality protein as a key contributor to Oklahoma's proud agriculture community. We're not anti-meat. We're just saying let the animals live a little better until it's time for them to serve their ultimate purpose. In Oklahoma City, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. And we followed up with the Port Council yet again, asking how the industry feels about this proposed legislation didn't end up hearing back. We also reached out to a number of legislators with an interest in agriculture. We either didn't hear back or they just were too busy to talk.